a new season with my chili breeding project Cariolokia Scorpion Strain D. A short recap. I started by breeding a Carioca as a female with a Butiolokia as a male. Then I bred this hybrid for five generations and then I used this hybrid as a male and crossed it with a Trinidad Scorpion Maruga Red as a female. And then I did a back cross with this Butiolokia Carioca hybrid. This is how it looks like in my little um, notation style. Lots of numbers and letters. Nice. I started in early January by crushing some uh, moldy fruits from the number 8 of the previous generation. In part to not let any materials go to waste, because I shouldn't eat this uh, moldy stuff. Uh, and also on the off chance that there might be some fungal toxins which demonstrate their mutagenic properties. Perhaps some interesting uh, stuff happening with the genetics. <laughs> maybe not. But maybe. Well, uh, they germinated quite quickly, but then it kind of stalled. I think uh, the lighting was not good enough. My little artificial lighting here and also the coconut fiber stuff that I was using probably had uh, not so optimal nutrient and pH levels. There was even some yellowing of the leaves. But then I transferred some of the seedlings into real soil and they really liked it. There was even some um, some new germination happening. And about three to four of them caught up quite a bit in terms of growth. Now I managed to get literally the last grow back at my local hardware store. So let's get busy and put them into their final home. Punching some holes for optimal water flow. Open the back. And put in the plant. One, two, three. Some water. Some more water. Ah, well, sorry. Only room for three. Come on, you can be an outside shitty, hmm? Go out and play with your siblings. Yeah, no joke. I dumped the uh, germination soil in some of the pots outside and they germinated some more. So now there are uh, little Cariolokia scorpion strandy seedlings all over the place. And I also put the um, individuals that didn't catch up so well in terms of growth um, outside just to give them another chance. Well, I only have three individuals of the Cariolokia scorpion strandy for continuing the breeding project. 
But I have some more chilies, I have to admit. Because I visited a local plant market and I have to admit I got weak and acquired some uh, more super hots. That is one Naga Viper, one Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea, one Butler Mustard, one Seven Pot, and the Carolina Reaper. Yeah, I did it. As far as I know, it's still the official Guinness Book record holder in terms of heat. But, uh, well, let's see what I'm going to do with it. Put that in here. For now, let my three little Karyolokia scorpion strain D specimens enjoy the evening sun of this nice summer day. And the project continues.